here after having a relatively slow start to your season, just in terms of the mono racing? What's it like to get the win here? Oh, it's good. I mean, I um, was balking at this race for a while just because, I don't know, I've been training hard, trying to kind of make up some training that I didn't get earlier in the season. Um, but really, we came yesterday and watched the 10K, and like, the atmosphere here is both super chill and relaxed, but also like the fans know what they're talking about. Everyone is excited, so it's a lot of fun to run here. I don't know. I'm excited. I'm happy to win. Um, I'm like trying to get speed work in, and my legs are feeling it, but it's good. Yeah. So I like to have to, like practice different moves in the race. Yeah. So is that why you came here, pretty much, like to get kind of the feeling back to, to racing at such a high level? Yeah. Um. So my last race was uh, in the Bahamas. I don't know if you would consider <laughs> yeah. that a race. I ran alone <laughs> for 1,500 meters in the Bahamas. Um. So I kind of needed some kind of like bridge between that and like, some kind of competitive effort. Um, yeah, just so that when I go to USA's, I'm running the 1500 at USA's, but just to have the feeling of running against high-level competition. Um, everyone's out running in Europe and doing crazy things, so it was like, this was a pretty easy decision to make. Yeah. Would you miss time early in the season? Um, I didn't have a fall at all, because I had like planter stuff, like kind of rolling over from last summer. And then I finally did start running, but then I like my life kind of... I moved and all this different stuff was up in the air as far as where I was training, who I was training with. Um, so quality, I would say, didn't really start until like mid-January to mid-February. What's been the uh, biggest change so far from the Northeast to uh, um, Ben? Um, Training-wise, I mean, I'm around a lot more trees. <laughs> My mom says trees are like therapeutic. Um, I don't know. I think... A lot, I'm working a lot on my aerobic work. Like the idea is that it's not, I'm not quite as strong there. So it sucks for me to do those workouts, but like in the long run, um, I'll see b bigger gains from them. When you came here, were you more interested in a competitive race or a time? A competitive race, yeah. I wasn't really looking for time. I mean, I would have been very surprised if I'd run into the exact time. Yeah. Well, I seem pretty patient about the race the last like, 100 years. I've been sitting back in the pack for a while. I picked up a little bit last turn and then came through around. I'm trying to practice what, like, kind of two two moves, like you would do in a 15 maybe, like a noticeable pickup at 300 and then running forward at, like, 150 to go. Um, I actually thought Shannon got me at the end. Good lesson for me to, like, not slow down or oh, this one's always coming, right? Um, so that was a little scary, but... Um, I'm trying to think of other fun things that are going on. <laughs> oh, yeah, you your t-shirt. <laughs> my t-shirt? I wish I had a better excuse. It's a good slogan. I didn't pack, I, I just packed my whole life up to go, um, leave Ben because I'm going to go to USA, to Seattle, then USA's. And the one thing I didn't pack was my uniform. So, <laughs> they're bringing well, that one. I know, right? Well, I can just say that. Yeah, it was, it's cool. I'm like, <laughs> well, no I noticed that, man. I remember I got a good picture of that t-shirt. It's good marketing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we'll just say that. <laughs> Congratulations. Right, thanks, thank you. Thank you. Nice job.